Oh, I just came from the bank. I just came from the bank. I made an appointment. Oh, feeling like a real adulty adult right about now. I made an appointment about a week ago because I was down there sitting down with one of them, their representatives. Uh, went ahead and reopened, like reopened, like a checking account because I used to have a secured credit card. And I used to have a normal debit card. And everything went to shit. Everything in my life went to shit. I was sleeping on the ground. I was homeless. I was living in a tent. Oh, and with all that their turmoil, I lost my debit card and my secured credit card. And I owed like $109 on the credit card. And literally for the past just months and months and months, it was just like I owed them $109 every single month on that credit card. And I wasn't paying it back. But maybe like a month ago, I finally paid the $109 back. And I went in there and I opened a new account with them. And then... And then this, like, they're fucking good over there. Like, I mean, she, like, literally taught me <laughs> of, like, really, like, opening my eyes to, like, to realize that, you know, I'm going to retire one day. I'm going to have to go buy a car one day. That's actually what we're working on right now. Our first goal is to get me into a 2015 Camaro. I think I mentioned it in one of these videos in the past not too long ago about getting a 2015 Camaro. Granted, right now I'm a little bit too early in the stages to go and um, really start um, starting the processes of buying 2015 Camaro, but she says I'm 50%, I'm 50% there, which is like, <laughs> like coming from like a bank representative, a person who can actually go and what they do is buy the car and then we, the buyer or whatever, will pay the bank back, but it's like the car is yours. So, so getting to those very see we need a money truck I need a money truck right now I need a money truck filled with money entitled to my name but I'm a little bit too early in the stages for all that but the point is I'm getting started with it you know like I'm actually like getting started with this and you know I'm not like 30 years old or 40 years old and starting then doing it because in those later stages, it's a lot, it's a lot harder. Because by the time you get to age 65, it's like you want to retire, you know? And it's just like you can't just retire. Like, retirement doesn't just happen, you know? And, and no one's just going to give you a whole bunch of money for you to live off of. It's just like, you know, you can literally be like 90 years old living on the street. I've seen it, like... It's fucking horrifying. And it's just like right now, every single cent that I'm just throwing away right now is the deciding factor of if I'm going to be a homeless old man or if I'm going to be rich one day. Every single little goddamn penny. And it's just like, it really makes sense. It like really, really makes sense right now because say if I'm making $500 a week and I'm blowing say $400 of it. If I'm making $500,000 a year, that means that I'm blowing four hundred thousand dollars every single year on random stuff like not even investments not even anything at all like it's like literally just random shit like alcohol and and fast food and 
and the strip club and like literally four hundred thousand dollars every single year. Keep in mind, me, I blow all five hundred of it. So if you're making five hundred thousand dollars a year, you're literally blowing five hundred thousand dollars a year. Like it's minuscule. Like when you go to like McDonald's and shit like that, or if you're going to the strip club, or if you're going to buy alcohol and stuff like that, it's minuscule. When you're buying, oh, it's like twenty dollars for like a bottle or something like that. It's like huge in the long run. It's like you literally just spend five hundred thousand dollars on strippers and alcohol, and now you're sleeping on the street. Like, I know that it's, like, so funny to see, like, like normal people and the teenagers and, like, they get together in, like, their little groups and shit like that, and they're just, oh, yeah, fucking this and that, going out every single week with their friends and shit like that. And then it's, it's going to be really sad to see those people living on the streets when they're, like, 60, and then by the time it's... 60 is like too late to save money. Now, all that came from one one hour meeting with one of their representatives. Any bank represent anyone who knows anything about money. Like, I really should be paying her. But it's free, you know? And that's why people just don't do it. Because typically, if things are free, you don't take care of it. If you start out with like a brand, like a new car as like a kid, you like, like when you're like 20 years old and you start out with a car like that, typically either you're going to crash it or you're going to treat it like shit. But if you start out with a car like mine, a 1997 Honda Civic, I'm learning how to treat a car. You know, like if, say if I just go ahead and get like a Lamborghini when I was 18. It's like, I'm gonna crash the thing. Like, I'm not gonna take care of it. Like, I know that in my mind, oh yeah, if I had that car, yeah, I would treat it like, but how are you treating your your older car right now? You know? 